A PET CT scan combines two scanning techniques from a functional PET scan and an anatomical CT scan. A PET scan involves a radioactive tracer being injected and imaging its uptake in parts of the body such as the heart, brain or areas with cancerous cells. A CT scan provides images of the body to identify anatomical structures and when combined with a PET scan ultimately improves quality of the PET scan images. Combining these two scanning techniques depicts not only what the body looks like but it also shows how well parts of the body are working. There are different types of PET CT scans available. A rubidium PET CT scan can be used to diagnose coronary artery disease, evaluate functional significance of coronary calcification and to accurately assess blood supply to the heart muscle in patients with chest pain. A rubidium PET CT scan can also check the effects of heart attack, identify which areas of the heart are at risk of further damage, determine surgical or medical treatment and assess preoperative fitness for non-cardiac surgery. A cardiac FDG PET CT scan can diagnose and assess response to treatment for any cardiac inflammatory disease such as sarcoidosis, myocarditis or endocarditis. A FDG PET CT oncology scan can help to identify areas of cancer and differentiate benign from malignant lesions, staging patients with known malignancies, assessing response to malignancy treatment or detecting tumor recurrence. For the cardiac FDG PET CT scan, the patient will need to follow a non-carbohydrate diet on the day prior to their scan and fast for 18 hours before their appointment to ensure their heart is not metabolizing carbohydrates. Before the scan, we will give the patient an injection of a radioactive tracer and then ask them to rest for just over an hour while the injection is being absorbed from the bloodstream. We'll then take the patient to the scanner and ask them to lie back on the bed and keep still for around 20 minutes. Depending upon which type of the PET CT scan they are having, the timing may vary. After the scan, the patient can drink plenty of fluids to flush the tracer out of their system and they should limit close contact with young children and pregnant women for six hours while the tracer leaves their system. The results from the scan will help us to deliver an accurate diagnosis, personalized care plan and effective treatment.